my name is John Emery and I first met my good friend Max in about 2010. We shared a love of photography and soon after meeting Max, he asked me to, to take the photos for his wedding to Bev, which I gladly accepted. It was a great day and I loved taking the photos that day and sharing their special day. As part of the wedding, there was obviously a stag weekend in Germany with a number of really good friends that I still keep in contact with now. And that trip, fantastic. So many happy memories. Um, overall, Max was, he's a, a really dear friend that I was truly shocked when I heard the news a few weeks ago. Um, he had a heart of gold and he was a good guy and I miss him. Thanks for listening. All the t-shirts he had. <laughs> Countless. Hundreds of different t-shirts, but the one I remember was the one that said, arrive, raise hell, leave. <laughs> um, and to finish off, I'd like to read one of Max's uh, favourite poems. Uh, we've come so far and we've reached so high. We've looked each day and night in the eye. We're still so young and we hope for more, but remember this, we're not invincible, we're not invincible, no, we're only people, only people, we're not invincible, so I tell you. He dragged, he dragged me pretty much everywhere when I was first started rugby, um, other guys would take the, take the, uh, sorry, take the mick um, or, or, or try and wind me up being young and naive but he was always there to back it up, back uh, back me up and uh, tell me what you know, to ignore him to carry on, to push, be a better person be the better person that I've become partly thanks to him a uh, uh, thank you for being in our lives and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same Um and I hope, as sad as this day has been, that uh, people can remember the good things and some of the bad things as well, because that did m make his character worth it. <laughs> he was uh, definitely a character. Love him, I hate him, you just, you knew he was there. <laughs> Have I got any stories about Max? Well, a lot, I'm not going to lie, a lot of them are not repeatable. I met Max 15 plus years ago, playing rugby down at Timmouth Rugby Club. It would have been a training session, probably a Tuesday, which involved fitness. So Max would have hated that. We'd uh, take Dave's Jeep, go on a little adventure. They could take us anywhere, these little adventures, down country lanes, green lanes, all over the place. And there was just one time we took it to, uh, took it to Archie Brook. And uh, Max thought it'd be a great idea to try and drive it onto the beach. Oh, Ma Max being Max was adamant it would work. 100% adamant it would work. And we were going, Max, Max, it's not going to work. It's quick, so we're going to get stuck. Not the best idea. Anyway, Max being Max somehow managed to convince all of us that it would be a good idea to drive it on the beach. So on, there we go, chugging along. As you were. All of a sudden... We stop, and guess what happened? Yeah, stuck, dead stuck, not going anywhere. Mud up to the axles, we're just stuck. And uh, we're like, oh, now we're gonna do Max, it's getting dark, and you go, oh crap. You know, this dog, this dog walker walks past, nice lady. She said, oh, I see you're stuck there, boys. Yeah, yeah, 
Shall I go and get my husband? He'll tow you out in a tractor. I thought, oh yeah, brilliant idea. Thanks very much for that. Yeah, yeah. Be 150 quid, mind. <laughs> no, that wasn't going to happen, was it? So I think it was Dave in the steering wheel, me, Max and Chili, pushing this little Jeep out. We were covered, utterly covered. Got it out, mind. Saved ourselves 150 quid. Not sure the Jeep was in the best condition after, mind. <laughs> That's probably one of the cleanest stories I could tell. I miss those times. I miss that. I miss that big personality. I miss that laugh. It was the kind of guy that could... I don't know, just change, change the mood of a room when he walked in. Forget where you're, you're coming, coming from, never pretend that it's not real. So then, there will be someone else's dream.